Hey, what's good, y'all? It's Steve Tracks back again with another MK3 tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about adding effects to our project using the MK3 controller. Before we get started, if you haven't yet, I highly recommend you watch my previous tutorials about making a beat and making a drum kit using the MK3 controller. Those videos primarily focus on using the MK3 controller and will help you follow along here. Also, keep in mind that my MK3 videos are made for beginners and as such are laid out in a very beginner friendly way so that they're easy to follow and they cover most of the basics. So if after watching this tutorial or any of my tutorials, you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments section below. Now let's talk about effects. In Machine, effects are basically plugins that allow you to add things like EQ, reverb, compression, and delay to your project. On the MK3, you can easily add effects at three different levels. The first level is the master level. Any effect added at the master level now affects the entire beat. The second level is the group level. Any effect added at the group level affects that group. So any effect I add to group A1 will affect the all over kit. And the third level is the sound level. Any effect added here would affect the pad that was selected or the sound that was selected. Now, adding effects is really straightforward. To add effects, first you need to be in control mode. What is control mode? Control mode is basically when you see this screen right here. If you are not looking at this screen, just click browser and you'll get here. Next, you need to select one of those three levels I just mentioned using the menu buttons on the top. Once you've selected the level you want to add effects to, you'll use the large encoder to tab over to the plus sign. Clicking in the large encoder will now pull up the list of available effects on the right hand side. Once you've decided on an effect you want to add, all you got to do is click load. Once the effect is loaded, you will now see a list of parameters that can be adjusted using the encoders below the screens. Also, keep an eye out for an arrow right here because if you got an arrow, that means there are more parameters that you can adjust. Now, one of the cool things about Machine is that you can create an effects chain with as many effects as you want. So if you want to add a reverb and then add a delay and then add a compressor, you can do that. To do that, the easiest way is to just tab over, select the plus sign again, and now load up another effect. Another way you could do it is holding the shift button and clicking insert. Now, if you want to remove an effect you have added, you could simply shift and undo, hold down shift and press remove, or you can select the effect, go back to the top of the list and load none. That will delete the effect. Also, if you want to change the order of your effects, so right now let's load up the second effect. If you want to, for example, put the maximizer before the reverb, you would hold shift while it's selected and click move. And you can do this with any effects in your chain. One more thing is bypassing your effects. So if you want to do like a split test where you can hear a sound without the effect, all you have to do is select the effect, hold shift, and press bypass. When you see the name of the effect grayed out, that means the effect has been bypassed. And that's just about it. When it comes to adding effects, it's all a matter of personal taste, so there really is no right or wrong way to do it. It's just what sounds good to you. Well, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, again, you know the drill. Click the like button, 
And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Also, I want to thank you all for all the positive feedback I've been getting about these videos. It means a lot to me and it really helps motivate me to create more for y'all to enjoy. And if there's a video that you would like to see made, hit me up, let me know. Till next time, take care y'all, peace.